In this video, I'm going to talk about um, a process you need to follow if you encounter any issue within the COE Starter Kit download setup provided by Microsoft. Now, Microsoft has their own GitHub uh, repository setup within uh, GitHub. Uh, now, that repository stores the, the code, stores the you know, set of files. Uh, it also uh, houses an issue section. So if you navigate to this URL, which is shown in the screen, uh, github.com, Microsoft CUE Starter Kit Issues, then you will be landed into the page of CUE Starter Kit Issues. Now here you can uh, input your, uh, say feedback, or maybe uh, if you encounter any, any issue while installing or configuring a solution, uh, then Microsoft team will uh, have a look into that uh, ticket and uh, they'll try to likely to provide some sort of resolution. And I have uh, personally did that and uh, uh, Microsoft team is very responsive on it. And then uh, sometimes you may even receive uh, a response within like say eight hours, okay? Uh, so now I will just uh, show you uh, how this thing work. So, okay. So now I'm in uh, github.com site. I have my own GitHub page. So what I have done is like I've logged into the site. Now, now then you can navigate to the URL which I have provided to you. Now this URL, uh, github.com slash Microsoft dash COE starter kit will take you to the landing page. Uh, and then in this landing page, you will be able to see all the solutions provided by Microsoft as a part of Center of Excellence starter kit. So if I go into Center of Excellence core component folder, <clears throat> I will be uh, able to see the solution package, uh, the configuration files, all those uh, uh, nuts and bolts within this application. Okay, if I just go one page back, uh, here you will find all the information with regards to COE starter kit. Uh, and it will also show you how to report a bug and uh, how to contribute to the code. Uh, now I'm going to go into the issue section. Now in this issue, issue section, you will see a whole bunch of uh, uh, issues being raised with, by different community members. Uh, I uh, also uh, raised an issue like a couple of days back. So let me find my issue, which I raised. So, so that was done, I think a couple of days back. So that was about unable to update COE core component. So when I started updating COE core component, I encountered an issue uh, and I uh, documented that issue and then presented it to uh, Microsoft. And uh, I was uh, provided with the response immediately. So uh, that was very nice. And uh, I did get the resolution for this particular issue. So what you can do is like if you have any issue you can just click on the new issue button <clears throat> and then it will be presented with some sort of uh, a menu item uh you can uh if if this is just a bug then you can say this is bug related to coe starter kit okay so then you can click on get started okay so i'll just click on get started and then you need to start describing your issues so you describe the issue you can put a screenshot of the error you can uh, upload the log files so those all by doing all those things uh, you can uh, finally submit the issue okay now this uh, site is not only for issue reporting but then if you want some additional functionality or if you uh, desire for an additional feature that also you can request to this site so uh, you can uh, if you want to have some say some functionality within the starter kit which may help uh, an end user or maybe help may help an administrator or maybe it helps in adding into the productivity cycle, then uh, feel free to add those uh, feature requests within uh, this particular section. So uh, that's it folks. Uh, that's all about uh, showing you how to uh, raise an issue with Microsoft in case you encounter any uh, COE starter kit related uh, uh, bugs or uh, it, it can be an issue or it can be some sort of fault. Yeah, thanks for watching.